Hello there, if you're new and you've never watched any of my videos before, welcome. I'm Redesign3DP, I design and 3D print pulse motors, generators, and develop custom printed circuit boards. Please stick around and check out my latest design. Today I'd like to share with you my 12-8 switched reluctance motor. This unique motor has no permanent magnets. It operates by attracting and aligning the rotor poles to the stator poles, similar to how a electromagnet attracts paper clips. This on has 12 stator poles and 8 rotor poles, making it a three-phase motor. When a phase turns on, magnetic loops force the closest stator poles to align. With clever placement of optical sensors, you can fire each phase at the optimal time. I only have one phase built currently. Once all three are finished, this will be a self-starter. But even with only one phase firing, this motor has massive torque. This is the most powerful motor I've made to date. Each phase will be driven by one of these control circuits. K-Energy designed this circuit implementing a MOSFET driver, IC. He chose the component values, and I converted it into a printed circuit board. Together, we make a good team, and you better believe there will be more great things to come. So please subscribe to this channel as well as K-Energy's YouTube channel if you haven't already. The circuit will be controlled by my newest pulse width modulation controller. I named myself Redesign because I am always improving and moving forward with my ideas. This is the fifth version of this idea. It has an onboard lithium ion battery with USB-C charging. The display appears to flash on video, but in real life it's clear and steady. There is a progress bar from 0 to 100% to dial in your settings. Basically, this is important for chopping up the signal from the optical timing, which allows for not only speed control, but for getting better flyback spikes that are good for charging cap dump circuits. I'm going to use this super capacitor bank to show how we can use the flyback spike to charge capacitors or batteries. I hot glued a small voltmeter so you can witness charging. This motor runs at 24 volts. To keep things safe for this part, I'll stay at 12 volts. The fluke is showing up to 52 volts, but there are actually larger volt spikes, which will show up on a 120 volt LED bulb. The shaft is 14 millimeters in diameter. And keep in mind with only one phase firing, the rotor passes by two dead phases. The torque is tremendous. Even when I slow down the rotor, this thing just wants to go. And at a stall, the circuit remains working. The green power switch bypasses the PWM and turns on all the way. This way you can run the motor without PWM if you choose. This motor runs at 1900 RPMs, and I'm getting nice cap dumps into my load. Remember, these output spikes are usually dissipated into the system with flyback diodes. I can never understand why engineers don't properly utilize these spikes for charging a second battery for energy scavenging. Well, anyway, keep an eye out. I'll eventually add the other phases and really test the torque. I work a week on and get a week off. I'm about to go back to work, so, if you ever wondered why my videos are spaced out, now you know. Thanks for watching and give me a like.